four Dead Sea Scrolls previously thought to be blank have now been found to contain hidden texts. Scientists made this discovery using multispectral imaging technique, a new scientific technique deployed recently in archaeology. Stay with me as we examine this new discovery. Hello everyone, Gabriel. Welcome to Ancient Insights. If you are new to me and to this channel, please take a second to subscribe and enable notification for more insightful videos on ancient history and archaeology. Scientists discovered that four blank Dead Sea Scrolls actually have text. Multispectral imaging has revealed hidden texts on four Dead Sea Scroll fragments previously believed to be blank. While it is believed that the Sistine purported fragment of the Dead Sea Scrolls in the Museum of the Bible might be fixed, but at least four such fragments housed at the University of Manchester in the United Kingdom are the real deal. The fragments, which were presumed to be blank for decades, have now been found to contain hidden text, most likely a passage from the book of Ezekiel. This ancient Hebrew text, roughly 900 full and partial scrolls in all, stored in clay jars, were first discovered, scattered in various caves near what was once the settlement of Combran, just north of the Dead Sea by Bedouin shepherds in 1946 to 1947. Qumran was destroyed by the Lord about 73 CE and historians believe the scrolls were hidden in the caves by a set called the Essenes to protect them from being destroyed. The natural limestones and conditions within the caves helped preserve the scrolls for millennia. They date back to between the 3rd century BC and the 1st century CE. The scrolls are understandably of great historical and archaeological interest. Several of the parchments have been carbon dated and synchrotron radiation among other techniques had been used to shed light on the properties of the ink used for the test. A comprehensive set of imaging techniques were used to determine that the fragments at the Museum of the Bible were forgeries. In 2018, an Israeli scientist named Oren Evelman used a computer-attached infrared microscope to identify and decipher Dead Sea Scroll fragments stored in a Sega bus since the 1950s. One of the fragments could not be attributed to any of the known manuscripts and thus may represent a still unknown manuscript. A study of the nearly 25 foot long temple scrolls was reported last year among the best preserved of the Dead Sea Scrolls. The test appears to cover some version of materials found in the biblical books of Exodus and Deuteronomy, including plans for a Jewish temple and rules regarding temple practices and sacrificial offerings. The study concluded that the parchment has an unusual coating of sulfate salts, including sulfur, sodium, gypsum, and calcium, which may be one reason the scrolls were so well preserved. This is not the first time hidden text has been revealed on fragile ancient artifacts thanks to cutting-edge technology. In 2016, an international team of scientists developed a method for virtually unrolling the badly damaged ancient scrolls found on the western shore of the Dead Sea, revealing the first few verses from the book of Leviticus. The so-called NJD scrolls was recovered from the ark of an ancient synagogue destroyed by fire around 600 CE. And in 2019, German scientists used a combination of cutting-edge physics techniques to virtually unfold an ancient Egyptian papyrus, part of an extensive collection housed in the Berlin Egyptian Museum. The analysis revealed that a seemingly blank patch on the papyrus actually contained characters written in what had become invisible ink after centuries of exposure to light. The Manchester fragments never entered the antiquities market, where many forgeries originated. After being unearthed during the excavations of the Qumran caves, 
The fragments were given to the Kingdom of Jordan in the 1950s by a later expert at the University of Leeds named Ronald Reed. That was done in exchange for the permission to study them since they were presumed to be blank. They remain in long-term storage until 1997 when the collection was donated to the university. It was while examining them as part of the new study that Jordan Taylor of King's College London noticed a striking detail. Taylor said, looking at one of the fragments with the magnifying glass, I thought I saw a small feathered letter, the Hebrew letter L. Frankly, since all these fragments were supposed to be blank and had even been cut into four leather studies, I also thought I might be imagining things. But then, it seems maybe other fragments could have very faded letters too. The intrigued scientist photographed the front and back of all the blank fragments over one centimeter, 51 in all, using multispectral imaging, a technique that is being used more frequently in archaeology because it can reveal hidden materials, pigments and inks that will be invisible to the naked eye. As Sarah Bone noted at Forbes in 2017, multispectral imaging technique can take three visible images in blue, green and red and combine them with an infrared image and an X-ray image of an object in order to reveal minute hints of pigment. It can even reveal hidden drawings, stains or writings underneath various layers of paint or green. Four of the 51 fragments analyzed have now revealed readable text written in carbon-based ink along with paths of characters and ruled lines. With new techniques for revealing ancient texts now available, we had to know if these letters could be exposed, according to Taylor. There are only a few on each fragment, but they are like missing pieces of a jigsaw puzzle. One fragment in particular showed a remnant of four lines of text consisting of about 15 letters. Only one word, Shabbat or Sabbath, was readable. But based on analysis, the scientists believed the text related to the passages in Ezekiel chapter 46, verse 1 to 3. The team's analysis of the fragment is ongoing and a report on their result will be published in later dates. In the meantime, the University of Manchester has the distinction of housing the only authenticated Dead Sea Scrolls in the United Kingdom. What do you think about this? Let us know in comments. And if you enjoyed this video, kindly drop a like and share with friends and family on social media and elsewhere. Remember to subscribe and enable notification for more insightful videos on history and archaeology. Thank you very much for watching.